You know what's really amazing when you get to thinking about it is that this tractor get a nice mental image of how ugly this thing is. And this tractor are at most five to about seven years apart in age difference. Uh, that one was made 55 to 57. This one is a roughly a 61. And it really goes to show that a lot of what it comes down to is just how well things get taken care of or don't get taken care of. It's unfortunate for this tractor, you know, I really, on the tractor at least, I don't see anything that's worn out. I just see some lack of maintenance and some major lack of love. Whereas that one supposedly had just a little bit more of each. You know, like I say, life is what you make of it. If, if you end up with something, it's your choice whether It'll stand the test of time pretty well, or if it'll look like this someday. And it sucks, because this thing, well, I mean, it's good for me, but this thing, for the last owner, there's still quite a bit of use in it. But enough pseudo-intellectual advice for one day. I was looking at this, it looks like this entire loader frame comes right back here, and it's held on by, I think, two bolts. I'm kind of scared to put my finger back here. No, oh, this is one of those deals. <laughs> Yeah, one of those deals where the friggin' nut is a different size than the head of the bolt. Now these things haven't moved in forever, and they're probably not about to start now. So, thinking about this, it's cut there, cut there, cut in the front. So, the next concern that I have is when something moves, this cross tube here is going to come down and smash in on the hood. So I think what I'm going to do is use one tractor and a chain to hold this up, and then we'll uh, we'll get the 7060 and pull from the back of this, and hopefully just pull this straight out back from behind the uh, uh, loader frame thing. Oh boy. So here's the deal, we got these flanges pulled apart, they're ready to come up this way and off. So I got this tractor here, and as you can see, I'm running a line all the way back to the winch on my service truck. See what happens. So it's time to grab this loader and throw it up on the trailer. A little bit nervous about this. I think I'm gonna try and hit it with these forks. Uh, but if this doesn't work, like it very well might not, um, then we're gonna have to try something rather with a chain, which maybe I should do that in the first place. Ah, hold still. You know what? Actually, let's flip this thing on its side. This thing is bigger than I thought. We only have a little more than half the trailer, and hopefully we can make it fit. It's like a giant dead fish.
means like one more good shove forward. Scoot this around, position it a little better, so it's actually all on the trailer. All right, we got it on here. So, really excited about all this, the way it all turned out. Um, this is a fairly small load, mass-wise, for the trailer, but it looks like that suspension's down a little bit. You know, 14,000 pound capacity axle. So, if I was going to guess, I'd say there's probably two or three thousand pounds on here. And uh, at this point. Not really all that much to it, but to dig out some baling twine and tie this stuff down and then haul it off to the scrapyard. So, yeah, really, really happy with the way this turned out. Could have gone a little smoother, you know, most things like this. You look back at them in hindsight and you're like, ah, you know, could have done this differently or that differently, but no serious damage to anything, no injuries. <sighs> and I got another project to work on. You know, that reminds me, now we can more easily access this starter just for, just for the lulls, let's grab a battery and some jumper cable, see if we can make this engine spin. All right, I don't know which uh, shifter selection thing is neutral on account of it being weird as frig, but um, <laughs> hope for the best here. Positive there, negative there. Got this, got that. Ah, it's gonna be an issue with finding a cleanish rust minimally rusted spot. Whoa! <laughs> it works! It's in gear! Uh, you know what? Ugh. And the clutch has freed itself up. It used to go down but not come back up and I think we've changed it. Come on. If you're gonna do something like this, just make sure you can do it in the wettest, dampest conditions possible, you know, for safety. <laughs> it spins! It spins! Wow, there's a good chance this will run with a surprisingly minimal amount of work. I can't believe that. Alright, I'm not going to mess with it anymore. Uh, what I'm going to do is shoot some oil into those spark plug holes because it's probably bone dry in there. And uh, we'll see if we can actually make this do something cool. Pleasantly surprised, was not expecting that, but Fingers crossed for the future. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for future adventures. Thanks for watching, everyone.